Byron, the only thing that works is elephant dung. I am pro elephant dung for everything. So you just need to find yourself a lighter to ignite it, and then you'll have the perfect way to stop the biting flies. Now, we've finally come across our friend the wildebeest who's been marching up and down the airstrip. Shame, I think he's a little bit on the lonely side at the moment. But he also seems to be busy. He's not eating. He is walking around, marking territories. Now, Kai Tech, you're wondering why this specific species of wildebeest we're looking at is called the blue wildebeest. And uh, you know what? I have yet to really re realize this. So I've heard many different stories. Some say that the blue wildebeest's dung has a shimmer of blue in it. Have not seen that. I've looked at different angles, hold it up to the light to see no blue. I don't see blue. And then, of course, they also say that their coats uh, look a little bit like a, a, a dark blue. Never seen that either. They do have a, definitely have a sheen, but it's not blue. And they, I suppose I'm just seeing a different color spectrum. So I'm not certain, and I don't really think, I don't know why they've been given that name, if it's because of those two reasons. I don't see it, but you'll have to, when you come to South Africa, have a look at them for yourselves, as well as have a look at the dung. But that's the thing out here. Is, well, actually, it's quite funny because it's like the black wildebeest too. And let me tell you, so my favorite wildebeest species must be the black wildebeest, which is, they're quite small, and their horns point forward rather than curving in, and they've got this tuft of head. It looks like they've got a mohawk between their eyes and their snout standing up, and then their tail is white. Why is that called the, bl the black wildebeest when it's got a white tail? I'd probably call it the white-tailed wildebeest or something along those lines but then also I just try and try to be logic but <laughs> it's just my opinion uh, I think actually some people do call it the white-tailed wildebeest but the proper name for it is a black wildebeest but those guys are funny they run around they're really little it's like they have a serious temper as well they're always charging at other animals we saw a lot of them down in the eastern cape they're really funny to watch but blue wildebeest also quite lovely especially the ones that hang around on the open area in front of uh, our camp that herd has to be my favorite and that bull is really funny too yesterday he was charging at elephants i think thinking that there was a wildebeest bull trying to encroach on his territory which there wasn't i think he was a bit shocked about that and he he just always does the most hilarious things but you can see him he's not eating at the moment he literally is just walking the boundary of his territory just checking around sniffing you can see his nose is hard at work at the moment he's got a big stretcher he goes from one side of the airstrip to the other Look at that. Nose working overtime at the moment. He's got different middens and trees that he'll mark against. And, and of course, we've seen it many times now where he uses his pre-orbital glands to mainly scent mark. And then, of course, as he's moving around, uh, the pedal glands in their feet is also leaving its scent. So you'll often see him scraping on the ground with his feet, kicking up quite a bit of dust, not necessarily having a dust bath, but just trying to mark his territory. But we've got some water.